Well, when I look back to my law enforcement career that went to 1978, it's the highlight of my career. The cases I had in D.C. working human trafficking cases, I was able to do search warrants. I did, I uh, made arrests. I, I seized uh, property. It was everything I expected a special agent to do versus current terrorism financing and domestic uh, terrorism cases that might go two, three years long and no, no one gets arrested. This was a uh, uh, gumshoe detective work that I've always enjoyed doing. There's three parts of human trafficking. First, a trafficker has to acquire the women. The second thing they have to do is move the women. And then the third phase is the exploitation. And even two weeks ago, we had a uh, conviction in the Eastern District of Virginia in uh, Alexander, Virginia, and involved the sex trafficking ring that went from Atlanta, Georgia, to Herndon, Virginia. And they came up the I-81 corridor on Greyhound buses and been going on for several years. So in this part of the country, it's probably going to be the movement aspect of, of this trafficker, whether it's sex trafficking or whether it's forced labor. Thieving agents like myself, when they're assigned to a civil rights squad, we kind of walk into it without a lot of training on what human trafficking is. And it took me about two years to really understand a crime and how to develop a case. So when I was in Afghanistan and I was contacted by the producer of Not My Life who wanted to interview me about a case, it, was, it, it showed me that the public really wanted to know about this crime. And I felt I had an opportunity to teach police officers how to invest a crime. So I worked uh, almost a year on my workbook. 300 pages later, I have a three-day course, which I think is the minimum that police officers need to know to understand this crime, because it's very unique. And it could be enforced by city, county, state police, or federal officers. Uh, the first time I taught this course last year, on the second break before lunch, an officer came up to me and says, why aren't we being told this? I've been an officer for 15 years, and I didn't even know this was going on. So it's a new crime. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's out there, but we have to find it, and uh, that's the challenge that I have. So Patrick Henry Community College is in an ideal position with their nursing program to train the future nurses who are going to be in the emergency room to look out for the signs of trafficking. Uh, the victims of trafficking will come in contact with the medical community, they will come in contact with the businesses, and they will come in contact with law enforcement. And if the signs could be seen, we could rescue some of these women and children before uh, it gets too bad.